a push to protect voting rights. I'm your state capitol reporter, Alana Johnson. For the upcoming election, state senators are looking at new legislation to protect the voting rights of marginalized communities. Um, we work to spread the news about our voting rights and uh, all the impacts and uh, improvements. Michael Davis Jr. is the executive director for Promote the Vote, a coalition of organizations that work with historically disenfranchised communities to help improve their rights. Michigan voters have the right to nine days of early voting before each election, which includes the two weekends uh, ahead of Election Day. Um, voting by mail also made voting more accessible for our military and overseas voters. And with the primary and presidential elections coming up, state senators are also looking to continue those efforts to improve voting rights for marginalized communities. The bill package deemed Michigan Voting Rights Act, or MVRA, will bring state protections to voting rights for our neighbors. Democratic state senators say the bill comes after the decision on Shelby County v. Holder, a 2013 federal Supreme Court case that gave states the authority to determine voting legislation without federal oversight. But opponents of the bill say that this will put added pressure on election clerks. That helps with the process. Senate Bill 402 would create a huge new bureaucracy under the Secretary of State, which it seems to me it would be essentially uh, exist to really help facilitate people suing our local units of government and our hardworking clerks. These bills would cost taxpayers millions of dollars and create new obstacles for our clerks and local units of government that are simply unnecessary. Davis Jr. says that the bill package is meant to increase using your voice for things that matter to our neighbors. Voters have more options than ever before when it comes to registering to vote and voting. Voters can learn how to vote before Election Day and on Election Day. The bill package has to be voted on once more by the Senate before it heads to the House. At the Capitol, Alana Johnson, Fox 47 News.